This is Glebe. And the first time I reviewed Glebe, it was just a simple roadmap tool. But today I would go so far as to say that now Glebe is the ultimate SaaS tool. Let's dive in and let me show you why. For Glebe, it's always been about feedback from your users. Glebe wants to be the best tool for you to use between you and your users to manage all of the feedback you get in from multiple channels. In my last video, I mentioned that they were working on a chatbot and this has recently been released and this chatbot is very much inspired by Intercom, which is completely fine because Intercom might be the best chat in that industry. Furthermore, then they have added a help center which perfectly integrates with the chatbot. This I will come back to. And then they've added an entire outbound module with emails, surveys they already had, news and so much more, which I'll also dive into. What I also mentioned in my previous video of Glebe is that they are developing at such a rapid speed. So whenever I have an issue, it's fixed within hours. If I have a feature request and it's relevant for Glebe, then it's often released within a few weeks. It's very impressive the speed they work at. And you can always reach out if you need help with anything. Gleep, they're super friendly and they're always there to help you. But now let's dive into the chatbot that they have recently released in the last couple of months. And they continue to improve this chatbot. You have all the general elements such as information about the user, typing indicators and all the conversational elements you need to have a chat. You can also use AI to either summarize your conversation or to maybe try and change the way that you're communicating with the user. So all these small modules definitely work. We are missing some integrations to Stripe and other payment providers to get the full overview of the specific user that we're chatting with. It would be great to see what plan they're on. Of course, we can add this if you're familiar with their JavaScript API, then we can add this as a custom element. On top of this, then they have released a help center. And the help center isolated, there's nothing revolutionary about that. But this combined with the chatbot is where it really excels. So the knowledge base or the help center is basically a data set for the chatbot. So the chatbot with the help of GPT-4 and your help center will be able to answer questions for your users. And every time there is a question it can answer, then you will have a list of those questions and then you can help the chatbot become better. So you're basically training the chatbot to be able to answer that question in the future. What's unique about this is that they're combining GPT-4 and your own data set to help the bot answer questions for you. So in the end, you will save so much time and the user will have a better experience because they will get an answer so much faster. Of course, the user could just open up the help center and search for their question. But sometimes the question is so complicated or the answer is just hidden in a different article that they're reading in a section that sometimes is just impossible to find. So the chatbot basically doing the hard work for you and crawling all of the help center to give the answer to the user, that is really revolutionary. Next up, then they have added an entire outbound module. And as I mentioned in the previous video, they did have the survey module already, but now they have added emails, chat messages, and an entire release module where you can share news or if you release anything. And I really like this release module. It's one of my favorites because every time I release a new feature or let's say that after one week, I want to summarize all of the features and send out, then I can do that with this module and I can choose whether to notify the users or not. And when I choose to notify, then they get a little chat bottle basically showing that there are some news or there is a release note with some new features that they can test out. And the same go with the chat messages. The chat messages is super cool because you can set up rules. So you can say that if someone has been on the pricing page for more than five seconds, then you send them a message where you basically ask if they need help choosing the plan. And it will just show a little chat bubble in the corner where you have your Glebe widget where it's basically writing and say what you're writing. This is super interesting and it most likely will increase your conversion rate because it feels very personalized. And that's what I really like about this outbound module. It's all about personalization because you can also personalize the messages you send out. And the email module is the most recent outbound module they have added. With the email module, you can send out two types of emails. 
either you can set up dynamic rules where you basically say after five days of the sign up, I want to send an email or maybe immediately after sign up, you want to send them a welcome email. This you can set up as an automated email. Another way of sending out emails is to send out to all the people who are matching a specific criteria right now. So in fact, if you want to send an email to everyone, you can just set no criteria and then send the email out. So this email module I have already tested a couple of times and it works very well. It's so good at sending out the emails and it happens very fast. And I didn't experience any emails going into spam or anything like that because you're also validating your domain. So on top of this, with the email module, it is working very well. When running a SaaS tool, you need a lot of different types of tools to help you in different areas. And with Glebe, the reason why I believe it's the ultimate SaaS tool is because you get so many different types of tools in one tool at high quality. And it's not often we see this. It's often that we see a lot of different tools packed together, but at a low quality because they just want to ship tools and features without really thinking how they can play together and how they can come out as a quality product. Because with Glebe, you get the entire feedback module where you can communicate with your users. Your users can do feature requests. They can communicate with you in the live chat. You can use the surveys to get more feedback. You can use the live chat to communicate with your users. You can send out emails, news and release notes and so much more. So all of these tools mentioned pack into one tool. That is what you get with Glebe and that's why it covers so many areas of running a SaaS tool. And the more data and the more tools you can collect into one tool, the less you have to keep track on and it's also better for your budget in the end. For the near future of Glebe, then they're working on both translatable emails and an entire product tour module, which I'm super excited to test out. But it's very obvious to see that Glebe hasn't been inspired by Intercom very far along the way both in their feature set, but also in the design. But now they're finally trying to stick in their own direction. So they're adding this chatbot with AI and the help center to help you save time. And you get so many features for such a great price point. And overall, I want to give Gleep four and a half stars. It's really a solid product. We just need those integrations for the live chat. And then we need some more customized options for the email system. Then we are up at five stars. But talking about emails, if you want four tips on how to improve your open rate and your click through rate, then you can watch my latest video right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.